Hello everyone, I am Mohamed Rizali Dost and I want to present my paper entitled AGI Brain 2, the upgraded version with increased versatility index for you and I hope you enjoy it. In this paper, an index for measuring the versatility of artificial general intelligence or AGI systems is proposed. The index called versatility index is used to measure the versatility of an AGI system or for comparison purposes between different AGI systems. Then an upgraded version of the original AGI brain is proposed. In the new model called AGI brain 2, the explicit memory is replaced with a modified Mandon fuzzy inference associative memory called ProMem, which is able to estimate the consequences of a certain action by estimating the probability density function or PDF of the observed data in a stochastic environment. The model was tested in a portfolio optimization scenario as a stochastic environment. Simulation results demonstrate the accuracy of the novel explicit memory as well as the increased versatility index of the upgraded model. The rest of this presentation is organized as follows. After a brief introduction to artificial general intelligence, the versatility index or VI will be introduced and then the structure of AGI brain, the original AGI brain, and AGI brain 2 and its problem will be described. And then we will have conclusion and future works. Artificial general intelligence or AGI is the art of building thinking machines and I call it art because building such machines requires skills far beyond engineering. These machines are able to understand, learn, and perform any intellectual task that human can. In contrast to AI, AGI treats intelligence as a whole, resulting in the construction of versatile and general-purpose intelligence systems that can learn, reason, plan, communicate, as well as any other tasks at the human intelligence level or perhaps ultimately well behind it. Unlike AI systems, AGI systems are not problem-specific. They are meant to be as versatile as possible. So versatility is a necessary condition for an intelligent system to be called as an AGI. According to a paper by Leg and Hunter in 2007, AGI systems have to perform well in a very large range of environments. And this statement is the core idea of uh, the definition of the versatility index. And in this paper, I uh, Turn this statement into a formula for measuring the versatility of AGI systems. So based on this statement, if you want to check that whether an intelligent system is an AGI system, two questions must be answered. First, how many environments that intelligent system can operate in? Second, and how well that system can perform in each environment? Therefore, the number of different operating environments of an intelligent system, denoted as N, in combination of its performance wellness in each environment, denoted as alpha i, constitute the measure of the versatility of the candidate system. Therefore, the number of different operating environments of an intelligent system, denoted as N, in combination of its performance wellness in each environment, denoted as alpha i, constitute the measure of the versatility of the candidate system. We call this measure the versatility index or VI and is defined as a summation of the performances of an AGI system in each environment. The formula for VI is as follows. VI is equal to the summation of the performances of an AGI system in each environment I. VI is a dimensionless positive real number, and the higher the VI, the more versatile an intelligent system is. As an example for calculating the VI for an AGI system, suppose that AGI system A is able to perform in three different environments with performances alpha 1 equals 85%, alpha 2 equals 62%, and alpha 3 equals 93% respectively. The VI of the AGI system A is calculated as follows. VI of the AGI system A equals 
the summation of its performances in the three different environments, which equals 85 plus 62 plus 93, which equals 240. The definition of VI has some features. Number one, VI can be used as a distinction between AI and AGI systems. Since AI systems are problem specific, their VI value will obviously be low. And so VI can be used as a distinction between AI and AGI systems. And number two, VI provides a quantitative ground for comparison between different AGI systems. The more versatile systems will have higher VI values and vice versa. In this section, I'm going to describe the structure of the original AGI brain, which was proposed in 2019 at AGI 19 conference. AGI brain is a unified learning and decision-making framework based on modern control theory. AGI brain considers intelligence as a form of optimality. In AGI brain, intelligence equals and means optimization optimization of the surrounding world towards common goals. In AGI brain, design is emphasized on versatility, which means that the ultimate goal of this project is designing a general purpose artificial brain. Figure 1 illustrates the general schematic work gamma, which contains an artificial agent omega and the object psi. The artificial agent Omega has a body and an artificial brain which controls the body of the agent Omega. At every time step N, the artificial brain capital Psi produces vector of commands U which change the state of the Omega's body X of Omega which then leads to performing action A on the object Psi. This action changes Psi's states, X of Psi, which consequently leads to Psi's response R. Like a natural brain, the artificial brain can observe these actions and states fully or partially by its sensors. The state space equations that govern the word gamma are as follows. In discrete time space and in continuous time space, where f and g are vector functions and x and y are the vector of the states and the responses. Please note that there is no limit on the number of the agents and the objects in, this, in these formulations. The aim of the agent Omega is completing a task Q, which requires maximization of a reward function. The reward function R is an scalar number, which is a linear combination of the agent's objectives, vector of objectives J, and their corresponding coefficients P, which we call it personality. It is an interesting dynamical vector that uh, we will see its features uh, in the scenarios. Please note that P and J are dynamical vectors. So the reward function in AGI brain is a dynamical vector. The aim of the artificial brain is to complete task Q by solving this optimization problem. The artificial brain completes Q by calculating and then producing the optimal control signal U star such that the reward function R is maximized with respect to the state equations that govern the word gamma. But in the beginning, the artificial agent omega has no information about the state space equations that govern the word gamma. So first it has to learn its surrounding world by gathering data in order to estimate these equations. 
Agent Omega performs this learning process in three stages. The artificial brain tries to learn its surrounding world in three stages like a human being. According to Wolf, there are three stages of human skill learning. Stage number one, cognitive stage, in which movements are slow, inconsistent, and inefficient. Stage two, associative stage, in which movements are more fluid, reliable, and efficient. And stage three, the autonomous stage, in which movements are accurate, consistent, and efficient. In AGI brain, we call these three stages as infancy, decision making, and expert stage. The infancy stage of AGI brain is equal to the sensory motor stage of a human being. According to Jean Piaget's theory of child development, it is the first stage of the child's life. It begins at birth and lasts through age two. During this period, the child learns about the world by using their senses to interact with their surroundings. This stage can also be called as a sensory motor coupling. When the coupling or integration of the sensory system and motor system happens, in this stage in AGI brain, actions are performed regardless of the reward. In this stage, the artificial agent performs random actions to interact with the world and then observes the consequences and learns them. In the decision-making stage, the artificial brain tries to solve the aforementioned optimization problem and find the optimal policy, U star, which maximizes the reward function subject to the state space equations that govern the world gamma. But as we stated earlier, the world gamma is a general world and its governing state space equations may not be available. So the artificial brain has to estimate the consequences of different alternatives, different actions using its explicit memory, which is trained over the data gathered during infancy stage and the decision-making stage. Like human being, AJ brain benefits from two types of memories, an explicit memory, which is used in decision-making stage, and an implicit memory, which is used in the expert stage. The explicit memory, or the estimator, in the original AJ brain is made up of artificial neural networks, and in AJ brain 2, it's made up of a fuzzy inference system, which I will talk about it later. The working cycle of AGI brain during its decision-making stage is as follows. The first is evaluation. It evaluates the consequence of every possible alternative using its estimator or explicit memory. And then evaluation. It evaluates the reward function using this data and then selects the best alternative or the best policy which maximizes the reward function. Then it performs the selected action and interacts with the world and then observes the consequences and learns them and this cycle continues. This cycle continues until the task queue is completely performed and it is when the reward function R reaches its maximum value and it is when there is no further change in the reward function over a period of time. After the task is successfully performed, the artificial agent will learn how to perform it autonomously using its implicit memory and without solving that optimization problem. In this stage, the commands are produced faster and they are more accurate and efficient. And the artificial agent uses its implicit memory or IM to produce commands in order to perform its task. Now we are ready to look inside the artificial brain and see its schematic structure. Here you can see the schematic structure of the artificial brain. As you can see, it has several inputs, which are the observed feedbacks from the board and one vector output U. The switches represent the learning stages of the artificial agent, which are one for infancy stage, 
two for decision making stage and three for expert stage. The constructing blocks of the artificial brain are as follows. We have the unit P, which represents the personality vector, and we have explicit memory EM, which in the original AGR brain is made up of artificial neural networks, and in AGR brain 2, made up of a fuzzy inference system, which I will talk about it later. And we have the vector of objectives, J, and we have a random generator unit, which produces random commands in the infancy stage of the agent. And we have DM for decision making, and which is responsible for solving the optimization problem. And we have IM, which represents implicit memory, which is made up of artificial neural networks. And then we have X, here is the block which contains all the possible alternatives that the agent can choose from them. And we have stress simulator units, STR, which are used in the decision making stage and the expert stage. The role of stress or nervousness as an emotion is also included in the model in the STR units. As we know, Emotions are key affecting factors in the decision-making process of human beings and animals. The stress simulator units, or STR, regulate the exploration-exploitation ratio of the model, and they augment stochasticism to the behavior of the model, and they provide a further exploration of the world during its second and third stage of learning and is defined as the distance between the agent's current states and outputs and its desired states and outputs. The SDR units determine the probability of selecting the optimal policy as the output command by this formula, where S is the amount of stress, the distance between the agent's current states and outputs and its desired states, and E is the Napier number. As you can see, if the stress is equal to zero, the probability of selecting the optimal policy as the output command is equal to one. Another feature of AJ brain is data sharing and shared memories. In multi-agent scenarios, the agents can share their experience easily using a shared explicit memory, SEM, and a shared implicit memory, SIM. The original AGI brain was tested in several scenarios and environments and returned successful results, but it lacked the ability to perform well in stochastic environments, and it is due to its neural network explicit memory or estimator. So, the state output estimator or explicit memory of the original model was replaced, with a modified Bamdani fuzzy inference system, which I call it PROMEM. PROMEM estimates the probability density function, PDF, of the observed data, and is able to estimate the state output of a certain action in a stochastic world, as well as a deterministic world. The PROMEM was replaced in the optimization problem of the decision-making stage of AJ brain and as an estimator it estimated the consequences of a certain action in a stochastic world. This replacement resulted in construction of an upgraded and more versatile version of the original AGI brain, AGI brain 2. The architecture of the two models are the same except for their estimator or explicit memory which in the original AGI brain it is a neural network and in AGI brain 2 it is a modified fuzzy inference system. The two models were tested in four different scenarios of four different environments. Table 1 illustrates the performances of the two models in those four environments. The scenarios are fully described in my papers. The first scenario is a function optimization scenario, which 
It is a nonlinear, continuous, deterministic, multi agent immediate reward with non intelligent opponents environment. The two models return about 100% performance. The second scenario is the intelligent control scenario, which is a nonlinear, continuous, deterministic, single agent immediate reward with non intelligent opponents environment. The original AGI brain returned 99.76% and the AGI Brain 2 with the problem memory returned about 100% performance. The third scenario is animals or artificial animals, a nonlinear, discrete, deterministic, multi-agent, immediate reward with non-intelligent opponents environment, which AGI Brain returned 91.61% and AJ Brain 2 return 95.45%. And the last scenario is the portfolio optimization scenario, a nonlinear, discrete, stochastic, single agent, immediate reward with non intelligent opponents environment, which AJ Brain return 73.88% and AJ Brain 2 return 75.33%. Now we want to calculate the versatility index of the two models and decide which one is more versatile, the original AGI brain or AGI brain 2. To this end, we have to add the performances of the two models in each environment. So, the VI of the AGI brain is equal to 365.25 and the VI for AGI brain 2 is equal to 370.78. Therefore, AGI brain 2 is more versatile than the original AGI brain due to its higher VI value. In this paper, based on a statement from Lake and Hooter, an index for measuring the versatility of AGI systems was proposed, which is called the versatility index. In addition to measuring the versatility of AGI systems, the VI has other features too. One, distinction between AI and AGI systems, and two, it provides a quantitative ground for comparison between different AGI systems. Also in this paper, AGI Brain 2, the upgraded and more versatile version of the original AGI Brain was proposed, which benefits from PROMEM, a modified membrane fuzzy inference associative memory. The two models were tested in four different environments, and we saw that AGI Brain 2 is more versatile than the original AGI Brain, due to its higher VI value. Although AGI Brain 2 is more versatile than the original AGI Brain, it is still far from being a real AGI. The next development stages of AGI Brain 2 would be augmenting the ability to perform well in delayed reward environments and the environments with intelligent opponents like games. This is the end of my presentation and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. See you next time.